Hey, did you see that video I published a little while ago on that secret grease hole in that chainsaw where you use that little grease gun tool right there to, to do it? Uh, if you missed that one, I put a little link up here for you in the information button. Check that out when you get a chance. Well, guess what? There's another secret hidden grease hole on one of these things where you use that same tool. A lot of people don't know this is there. Don't even know you can grease it. Today, I'm going to show you where it is and how to do it. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Steve Small Engine Saloon again. There's my website right there. I got to promo that when I can. SteveSmallEngineSaloon.com. I got a quick link up here for you in the information button, too, if you want to check my website out when you get a chance. Okay, so... Let's get right to it here. No more beating around the bush. <laughs> I can't do it. Beating around the bush? That's stupid. I can't do it. I can't do it. All right, let's get serious here. This is very important. <laughs> We're talking about the curve shaft skills. Curve shaft, not the straight shaft. This is an FS40 that I'm going to use for the demonstration today. I have FS38s and FS45s around the shop. They're all the same. I'm going to show you really quickly here how to do this. Super easy to do. Uh, at the end of this video, I'm going to go a little bit more in depth and I'm going to pull the bearing out of here so you can actually see more clearly what I'm doing. Yes, there's a bearing down here. It's not a ball bearing. It's a bushing bearing, but it still needs to be greased. So get your... Uh, line head off of there you know how easy that is you just pull that line head off put it aside now we got to get the guard off too again super easy it's one bolt just pull that bolt out of there like so and that guard slips right off the end too now what do we got check this out there's a little small bolt right here what that bolt is is it's a little locator bolt right there or screw some people will call it for holding that bearing in now it's very short pull that bolt out of there and also put that aside now you take your little grease gun <laughs> this thing is super handy. By the way, I do have a link right underneath this video on where you want to buy one of these things from. Uh, they're not very expensive. Uh, click on that, and uh, here we go. You take that, and you just pump it in there. You just push it in there like that. That hole where we took that little, short little bolt out goes right through into that bearing. Now, you just grease that thing. That's all you have to do. Uh, you put your guard back on and you put your line head back on in reverse order. Again, simple, simple, simple. Now, just so you can see a little bit more clearly what we just did there, I did take one of these bearings out uh, of a different weed eater, obviously. This is what it is. There's the hole right there where we took that little short locating bolt out. You hear how this one's kind of grindy? You pump this full. If That took like a good pump right there. Yeah, it's still a little bit grindy. Let's do another pump. Oh, smooth. Two pumps in there and that is smooth. You can actually feel the resistance of the grease in there now. That is very important. I absolutely believe that if you grease this thing on a regular basis, I'm gonna say maybe once a season, beginning of every season, put a couple pump, pumps of grease in there and you are gonna get a lot more longevity, a lot more life out of your weed eater. I really hope this was informative for some of you out there. I hope you give me that like button, that thumbs up button, that'd be cool. 
Share this video with your friends, subscribe to my channel, and absolutely, man, put some comments down right in the comment section underneath this video. Tell me what you think. Maybe you already knew that. I know there's some people out there that know that, but not a lot. So, uh, till the next time, hey, you want to watch something else? Click on that one right there next. That's a good video too. Till the next time, guys and girls. Cheers. There's the bush. Steve out. Yeah. <laughs>